Aquarius, welcome. That's your end of November heart spread read. This is uh, for the one that's on your mind, one that's in your heart, an uh, eight card read. We end up here, you'll see in the shape of a heart. Um, just to be a little corny, if I may, <laughs> uh, it does read the one you're thinking of, you know. Uh, that necessarily mean that's the one you're with. Um, sometimes it may not even be the one that's uh, here in the 3D. Maybe they've transitioned already, but. Um, it will, I think, faithfully pick up on that one just to let you know. Um, we'll look at you and how you relate to your person, first of all. I kind of think of it as sinistry, too, as an astrologer. Uh, think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aquarius here as we start. And Saturdays are always uh, Aqua Pisces Day. I do all 12 signs once a week, um, so two every day. And um, the rest on Sundays. <laughs> where I usually put the pet read on Sunday, so check that, uh, it will uh, be coming out. Uh, and I'll put a link to the Soul Family read. That's a collective read for whoever resonates. Uh, more around manifestation and spirituality. This one, we're gonna look at who it is you're thinking of, guys. And that's you, I'm gonna say this is you coming in in your own reading and showing up as yourself uh, with the Queen of Swords. I mean, that could be a strong uh, Aquarius energy in itself. And this is where your mind and heart is at, in and around relationships now. Um, and the reason I, and it's someone asked me, well, Dave, I don't get this. It's like, I know where my mind and heart is at, in and around right here. <laughs> well, this is for me to get an uh, understanding as we go in, because it's sinistry. It's all about how you are, and then how they are, and separately, which is how I try to read one and two, and then how you react when you come together, and that's the rest of the reading. And the, the last two cards, I think of more as like composite energy, okay? Um, so, you know, this is a pensive kind of queen. So in terms of love relationship, um, it, I don't think you're out on a dating site. You're not, not you know, uh, you know uh, out searching or anything like that. You look kind of self-contained here in your thinking. I have to think, you know, you're kind of thinking about something about a past relationship. But Aquarius, I get the sense that this is not something real fresh. It's it's kind of old, and maybe this last Mercury grade, Mercury retrograde, got it out of you. There was a, you know, Aquarius moon, new moon, not long ago that was really uh, brought out a lot of stuff. You know, ring 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 you out kind of energy. Um, but here, you know, you're looking like pretty stable and solid you're just kind of pensive and thinking of something i think from the past um and this is kind of just where you're at as this person comes in and where are they wow could not be different six of wands so there's an energy here of a triumph with them it could be um you see they have the laurels there um often when i see this in this position of where they're at in around love and relationships um there's just a single energy. It's a sexy energy. If they're a man, they're sexy, they're good looking man. Um, and uh, if they're a woman, they're just a beautiful, good looking woman. Um, and there's a, either they are young, and I think when I see the Six of Wands compared to, to you the, as the Queen of Swords, you know, that a younger person. And not only a younger person, Aquarius, but, and you know, I'm totally not judging or trying to say anything. This is someone that blows your skirt up here, you know, man or woman, however good, they blow your skirt up. Um, it, there's a lot of uh, sex appeal. And it's almost, I could see you just turn, lifting your eyes up, kind of looking across the court, here you are the queen, and you see this knight back, you know, triumphant from a battle, and maybe there's some court presentation, so he's kind of dressed up in his, uh, you know, man or woman's a metaphor, you know, he's dressed up in his uh, best uh, knight, uh, clothes indoor clothes and you're kind of like hmm, okay we like you that kind of gets you a little bit out of that kind of lost in yourself uh, feeling there you might have uh, pisces in your chart neptune there so uh knight of wands now this is your energy as you start to react to them and it's just what i just said i'm back of my own reading but add more emotions to it so it's not just sexual they got you in the feels, you know. Now, it could still be uh, sexual, but uh, now um, a lot of Aquarius, you know, might have an Aries uh, Mars too. Keep in mind our Aries Venus. Um, um, 
but with the Knight of Wands, um, really strong attraction, you know, um, sexual attraction. And this is once you start relating to them. You can just see how you know, these two go together. And the Knight of Wands coming right at you. So um, it doesn't probably take much from this person, Aquarius, to get you fired up. You know, I'm a Sagittarius, so well, it's not fire, it's not water, it's not feelings. There's a lot of feelings here. <laughs> Uh, uh, passionate feelings. Uh, I mean, my God, he's charging the horse. Looks like it's exhausted, right? He's gonna need a new stead soon, right? Um, so, steed. Wow, <laughs> four of wands. Hello. So your person is the way they're reacting to you is like this is the energy of I would like to build build this is the building of a long-term committed relationship of a marriage so they were like i would like to do the work to work on building a long-term committed relationship or a marriage with you because this is how they're thinking about you and um <clears throat> it feels very quick quick like this like like i get the, that I, I get it, maybe it's not uncommon, maybe more for women even than men, but in a glance, you you knew that you were going to sleep with this person, that you would have them, you could just see by the way they maybe were looking at you, that it was going to happen, um, and you know, um, they responded, and you absolutely blew their doors off, and I think they absolutely blew your doors off. Uh, guys, it's as simple as that. So it's really fast. It's really passionate. It's really sexual. Is it real? I really don't know. Because it's, it's, but this is how romance is in. You know, is it real? Fuck me. Relationships, I think, are how we mostly grow and learn what we're meant to do. And so they don't always last, but it doesn't mean they're wrong or bad. And, and many of them are beautiful and it damn well learned so much. And look, guys, this is your advice from spirit now. It's speaking to Jupiter energy here, Aquarius. Um, this guy's this is definitely a fire sign you're dealing with. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus is prominent with them, and you and your composite and your um, sinistry charts. Now this is Jupiter. This is advice for you towards your person. And I, you know, one way to look at this too is like give them a chance to prove themselves. I could just be a little different read, which you might think with the with the wheel of fortune, but it could be this is advice from spirit for you towards this person. Give them chances to prove themselves. They may surprise you, and they, you know, I really feel Sagittarius now could be prominent over here. I'm like getting like weird tingling sensations. Either that, either that, I'm having a stroke, one or the other. Because that straw, that's really strong with the Sag energy in Jupiter, you know. Um, we do have this theme of the horses, but you're, you know, you're meeting them. You know, you're liking it. They're coming in. And the Sag, you know, I'm Sag. <laughs> we come in hot. We know. We know at a glance. You know, it's on. Eight of Swords. So this is their advice towards you guys. So there are... They're not dealing with something. I think you may kind of understand this. I think whatever it is, I'm not thinking you're not dealing with something. Because I think your something was in the past. You, you've kind of dealt with it. It's still on your mind. I mean, you, you didn't even think probably you were ready really for a relationship until you looked in the eyes of this person. Um, and then you were like, wow, uh, I think I am. Come to think of it, I think I really am. You know, with this uh, Knight of Wands charging forward here. Um, and your person, they've got something they have to deal with. That's what this is speaking to. You know, with, with this energy too, it's, it, to be realistic in how it might play out. You know, this is someone, I'm sad, you know, this is someone that kind of, you see the laurels here resting on the laurels. They could be getting by on charm and good looks and connections and, you know, maybe good energy and um, luck. And I think Barrett's saying if, if their love will get lucky again. Uh, Aquarius and Sag, you know, not a bad uh, mix by, you know, you know, by sun, you know. I'm um, strong, you think so much, got to look at everything else, but there you go. So <clears throat> there's a lot that goes with this. Um, 
you know, they could be a player. And I don't really know. It, would this immediately go into the four of wands energy? <clears throat> I mean, unless there's some hint that they are kind of want to use you. They don't really have Maybe they're like a tennis pro and they live in their car or something. And, all, you know, you don't want that. But because they're, going, they're feeling very seriously about you here. I don't see how it could be insincere. Um, but maybe they just convinced themselves to feel that way. Nonetheless... They might have had, you're coming as a queen. You know, you're pretty solid, Queers. You take care of business. Don't you have to do, you, you've adulted. This person may not have adulted. And I think they got some baggage back there. I mean, this could literally be children they didn't really know they had, like, from, like, a one-night stand. I'm getting, you know, kind of energy. And if not literally, then, like, a one-night stand. And, you know, uh, not a marriage type of thing. And, uh not you know um and this is now that they're seeing you and you're coming in hard and fast and i think they're just really admiring you and liking you and they're drawn to you and i think it correct me if i'm wrong i'd love for you to share this or i'd love to, to cross watcher to comment um but i think they just see you and aquarius as marriage material man or woman it's like their friends their mom their dad's telling them you ought to marry her you ought to marry him you know it's like it's just going to be like this kind of obvious thing to them. It's like, whoa, uh, you're just kind of prize. Sure as shit, though, they, it's basically something they got to let go of in their minds. You know, it's, it's uh, cliche to say that with a, in a tarot reading. they got to let go of something that's only in their minds. But, you know, this may be around their competence and stuff because, again, I get the feeling. I don't mean to disparage this person. You know, they just, how they rolled, you know, their fire, and this was, they were given this probably uh, very handsome or attractive uh, uh, physique, you know, a machine body, I call it here, my machine body, DNA body, um, and, you know, it's not their fault that the world reacts a certain way to that, and um, I think they add to that, they're very charming, very athletic, they may, you know, this person, I go this way, they could also be a soldier, also be a policeman, policewoman, kind of energy um, with this six of wands um, and I get the feeling like with this eight of swords go a little deeper th your person here it's like they don't really know who they are and that's not cliche that's like for real it's like that fire energy I'm, I'm fire energy I have cancer moon maybe fortunately um, it, it a lot of times it doesn't want to go deep you know um, and you really if you can kind of get by, it's almost like they're living off of their ascendant energy, you know? And they're really not expressing uh, their full fire energy, definitely not expressing like their moon energy, their Venus energy, their uh, whatever's on the IC. There's someone that's not vulnerable. Uh, there's nothing emotional here, guys, you know? Uh, there's someone who, it may be at night when they're alone, you know, they don't have the best thoughts about the world you know and that'd be something that they would never let on to anybody else and maybe hardly to themselves like um, um, it wouldn't be surprised someone this energy to medicate themselves some way too um, but remember you're being told you're being told to give them a chance here so I think um, you know the seven of cups is kind of I feel like I'm in seven of cups energy here there's something fuzzy about this relationship. It's not so much you. You went fast and you didn't really do your probably normal uh, Aquarius uh, thorough uh, check. And, you know, um, you kind of almost like you caught this person by surprise. Like she's so, like a deer in the headlights energy. And, you know, that's that's this too. And I think more they're just feeling like, man, there's, I got to deal with this now. I can't keep it. And for the cross watcher, and for them, yes, if you do not deal with this before this relationship, you will repeat it. That's how it works. For that, of that I am sure. Now it's going to be very important. Okay, Page of Pentacles. So this is your person here. I think this is the advice for the relationship as a whole is what it is. And it's to uh, both of you, Page, uh, make a commitment to each other to have a relationship. That's what this is. This is the advice for spirit, the relationship as a whole. So this is the start, the nut, the seed. 
that you guys are going to plant. And you, I don't think you're at that stage yet, but this is advice from spirit, so I, I like it. Um, and you can now talk to your person about what's going on with them. Um, you know, um, just they probably haven't had, they haven't taken the time to go in and do like shadow work and stuff. My opinion, I don't mean to be condescending, but this type of person often really benefits from really, it's very important you get into the right, I, God, if you can find an astrologer, psychologist, astro psychologist, that's competent, uh, get them to the right person and they'll just hugely benefit from therapy and just getting uh, oriented towards the whole uh, emotional world maybe they don't really uh, understand yet and they'll quickly just come into themselves, you know, I think could be the energy uh, because right now it'd be, it'd be like, <clears throat> you know, what what would they commit to you? It's like they, it's almost like I don't see like a solid self over here to commit to. But I don't know. I like this here. Barrett's kind of saying, give them a minute, man. Watch, watch what they can do. I see something starting. It'd be like very little, uh, very little start, you know, with this a page of pentacles. You know, it could be a simple like, you know, I really want to date Leo. Mostly the feeling to me, like I want to date you exclusively, you. And or them, and you'd be very important for you if they say yes to that, because you're thinking they're a player, and they probably were. Wow, I am getting the Herman a lot for these relationships, uh, for the uh, outcomes here. The outcome, Aquarius, of your heart spread is the Hermit. This is not bad. There's a relationship here. Actually, goes well over the page of Pentacles. So you guys are going to make this agreement. You're basically going to come together and say. You know what, no more fucking around, no more piddling around. You know, I really, you know, love you. I want to have a relationship with you. I want to build a life with you. And they're going to say that, and you're going to say that. And I think it's mostly going to be them saying that. You look at this, how they're like contemplating. It's not easy for them. Not easy for them. I'm laughing because I'm a sad, you know. I don't know. That's never really been my problem. Uh -huh. I got others, but yeah, I, I wasn't. I was married 25 years to Capricorn woman. So the hermit energy, I mean, I like it personally. It's, uh, you know, just the way I roll my Scorpio Venus in the third house. Um, I wonder in your composite chart, if this wouldn't speak to like a Virgo ascendant, um, maybe um, a third house sun or a third house Virgo sun uh, in your ascendant chart. Wait, if there's sand here in Aquarius, that's not going to happen. Um, they could st you could still have in your composite a, a third house sun and maybe, you know, conjunct Mercury, Venus, not uncommon, and have this kind of um, bubble relationship. That's how I see the hermit, but I don't see it as bad. I see it as you guys needing time um, to gel, you know, and it, you know, it, I'm, it's kind of like a, a little bit like COVID energy uh, where you just kind of... Uh, staying to yourselves and not going to a lot of parties and stuff you know what i mean i don't know if people are still in that energy but you know want to expose yourself to people well this is kind of making that choice to just be that way with each other because you want to spend time with each other and what i really love about that i told you your person i hate to say because that sounds condescending as fuck but they just need to kind of grow up grow into themselves grow into their depth they might be ready to step into their spiritual path and with the Page of Pentacles, this commitment to you, Aquarius, is also a commitment to their higher self, to their own uh, stepping into their own stream of their own destiny. And then you guys together will be doing the work of the Hermit, which to point the finger at the self and to grow and to learn everything about the self. And so what is that? You guys are going to learn about each other, too, because it's a relationship. It's the outcome in the heart spread of the relationship. The two of you, this is mostly what the hermit means, learning about each other, learning everything about each other. And it's a lot, as we know, just to learn everything about ourselves. So imagine now another person and to share that. Um, you'll be taking some time doing that. All right. Thank you, guys. Let me know if you like that. Comments help. Uh, like, uh, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. If you could think of anywhere to share this, any platform that might be appropriate, I'd appreciate the help, uh, exposure, and um, um, uh, do uh, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, guys.